So hi dear Libra, a very very good evening to you guys. This is Anjali Taro and this is a general reading for all the Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. Keep in mind this is general. It might or might not resonate with you at the first place. The second thing, this is a reading from today till the 9th of April. I'm going to tap into every area of your life possible for me and we will see the guidance. I'm sorry about the bow. <laughs> I just had toast. Yeah. Let's see Libra, the overall energy for Libra people for this week. We have... Dealing. Six of Swords. Moving on to the calmer waters. Moving on towards prosperity, abundance and wealth. Carrying a lots of baggages of the past with you but still moving on and finding a like peaceful area of your life where you can sit at, sit in a calm area and peaceful area. Yep. Still carrying a lot of past baggages with you but still keep on moving on. That is going to be your overall energy. So I'm going to pull every card uh, together and like uh, every card once wow all the cards at once this is the proper english i'm going to pull all the cards at once and i'm going to explain it to you guys let's see so for the health for the finances for uh, students okay for those of you who are working or who are doing job for those of you who are in business or are freelancer for single people for those of you who are committed or in a uh, or committed or married to each other and guidance for in your health sector i do see you being very cold and often detached and very rude you can say you are trying to cut a lot of you know crappy things going on uh, 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 like uh, in your environment so that you can stay focused on your health but this is not the good approach you are uh, like uh, you are approaching towards your health goals to with a very very negative energy i'm going to be honest with you libra you have to be uh, you know uh, respectful towards other people you have to be respectful towards your own body it's your body it's not a machine so you have to be respectful you have to listen to your bo body's needs okay so if your body is telling you to rest please rest if your body and mind and heart is telling you to uh, keep going to the gym or keep do going like keep doing whatever you feel like you should do in terms of your health do that don't be so hard on yourself don't be so rude uh, with yourself and with other people around you your mood swings are going to you know spoil other people's uh, mood also keep that in mind don't be rude and bitter towards other people hmm. in terms of your finances i do see you're not able to cope up with your financial losses if you had in any in the past and now right now you are in this energy of trying to save more trying to enhance your finances but you are not able to figure out the way how to do that in some cases uh, secretly you are you know investing in few things or secretly you are doing some kind of business or secretly you are doing something to enhance your finances but i think that's not working out to be honest in your favor even if you're doing it secretly it might work out in the future but right now it's not working out for you so you are just silent about it acting mysterious and if people are asking about finances or budgeting you are like silent about this not saying much about this for students i do see somebody going to betray you or somebody is going to do some kind of fraud with you please beware of that kind of energies you might end end up having a huge financial loss if you are not going to be aware of the fact that somebody can do something kind of deceptive with you somebody can uh, prank you or somebody can uh, do some kind of a huge fraud with you so please be with like uh, if you're trying to invest in something or if somebody is telling you to like i'm going to take that much money and i'm going to give you the admissions or all this please do not do not trust that person it's not good for you not good for you or you will get to know something about a uh, like test or institution or something like this and you're going to feel like cheated about by this so a little bit deceptive kind of energies for students i'm really sorry about the background noise please ignore for those of you who are working or who are doing job i do see you are going to feel stable finally you are going to feel very very stable in your job in some cases you are going to get some kind of increment and in some cases you are going to get some kind of you know promotion and you are going to feel very very stable in terms of your job finally you are going to be in this energy of being grounded and being stable in your job in your career area and feeling like okay i got it okay i got it finally i got it and i'm going to keep this thing forever with me because this is uh, which can make me rich and make me successful okay for those of you who are doing business or who are a freelancer i do see something will start working out in your favor something that was not working out from a very long time something you felt like this is dead and this is done and it is never going to work out it will start working out in your favor slowly but surely the business the freelancer work whatever you feel like you can do so do not stop and keep moving ahead and keep um, uh, like giving this energy and giving this uh, enhancement your work your career 
your skills it will slowly but surely start working out in your favor do not give up on this if you are planning to give up on something give it at least a last chance because i think this is going to work out this time it will start working out this time hmm? for those of you who are single you are still holding on to something or someone your past someone something or someone from your past and you are not able to release this energy and you are not able to be happy you are not able to be available to like new love or new person or new situation in your life because you feel like no i'm not ready i'm never never going to find the one person that is going to love me forever i'm never going to release this person that kind of energy i'm picking for you so you are not able to release or uh, release something or someone out of your life and that is why you are kind of not able to open up to new people and new situation in your life for those of you who are already married or in a committed relationship or you know are uh, living together i do see uh, you know uh, if you guys are trying to conceive you guys are going to con conceive and in some cases because of a kid you guys are going to start a chapter of your life again a new chapter is starting again in your life in your married life something related to kid or something related to having a brand new opportunity to start this connection all over again because something was dead something was not working out in this marriage in this commitment in this relationship you guys will start working out on this situation again from scratch from this uh, week onwards if it is going to work out or not that is a different story but i do see starting from scratch kind of energy okay for those uh, okay the guidance for you people is take each and every step of your life one day at a time do not take so much of work or do not take so much of responsibility that you cannot fulfill start one thing and and that one thing then start the next thing and that and then uh, complete finish the second thing like do it step by step don't do anything uh, like uh, like lots of thing together and you might end up doing nothing okay and don't take so much of pressure on yourself you don't have the pressure of the whole universe on you this is your perception that you, okay i am carrying all the load of the universe on my shoulders it's just your perception nothing and no one is going to stop if you are not going to that work if you are not going to do that work right so take it uh, you know lightly and uh, take one day, one step at one time and uh, finish whatever you have started that's the most important thing yep so thank you so much for tuning in libra i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste